Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created a smoky eye look. It's really bronzy, which I love. I use the Morphe 350 palette. If you want to see how I achieve this look, just stay tuned and keep on watching. I hope you like and subscribe and please leave me a comment down below. I'll leave all the stuff that I used in the description box. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in a sec. Bye! I'm first going in with a hydrating moisturizer and I'm using the Embrolysis Laboratories um, Light Cream Moisturizer and I'm applying that all over my face. We're now going in with the Inglot Primer. I'm applying that all over my face to help my foundation set. Going in with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and my god, it is the best thing that they've ever created. Um, I'm applying that all over my eyelids, and that will help my eyeshadows um, last a whole Going in with my 350 palette, and oh, isn't that so pretty? Um, I'm using the matte white shade as a transition to set the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So now we're taking the matte orange shade and putting that in our crease and we're blending that through to make it a nice transition for the rest of the colors that we're applying you want to make sure that you keep blending until it becomes so seamless that when you apply the rest of the colors it just blend it has a nice transition in between directly on top of the transition color that we just applied I'm going in with that matte brown and just applying it to give it some bit of dimension to the color um, you'll start to see as to why I do that so when you apply the copper um, it's just going to give it that bit of extra oomph Now going in with the copper shade and god isn't it so pretty um we're applying that to the remainder of our eyelid and we're distributing that so that it gives us that full intense effect i'm going in sweeping motions because that will intensify the look um, and you'll start to see it all coming together I'm then taking the shimmer shade in the 350 palette and applying them to my inner corners of my eyes to make them pop. I'm then going in with my Holy Grail Inglot Gel Liner number 77. It's a black shade and I'm doing that to create my wing. It is the blackest eyeliner I have ever used and it just lasts all day without smudging. So if you are thinking of a gel liner, I highly, highly recommend it. When creating my eyeliner, I like to start in the center of my eyelid and work my way out. And then I will go back in with the inner of my eye and connect it to where I had started. The outer corner of my eye, I like to draw a line and then connect that to where I had placed my eyeliner. And that's how I create my wing. Since my tan is fading, I am using two shades of the L'Oreal Infallible Foundations to color correct or color match, sorry, uh, my skin. Going in with a damp beauty blender and I'm just blending all the foundation that I just applied. And thank you for the blender gods because that is just the best creation ever. Going in with the Maybelline Rewind Concealer in Fair, I'm applying that underneath my eyes, my bridge of my nose, middle of my forehead, my cupid's bow and my chin. And I'm just using those to highlight the areas that I need to. Then I'm blending it through with the Beauty Blender and make sure that it's damp because I find if it's, the Beauty Blender is a bit dry, it will take away all the product that you've just applied versus whether it's damp. It will blend and look seamlessly in the areas that you want to blend out. Now 
Once you finish blending with the beauty blender, I like to go with my fingertips and just blend away underneath my eyes so I can get into those really, really small corners um, and just make everything so seamless so it's easier for it not to crease. Using the banana shade from the Inglot Freedom System, I'm using the shade 403 to set all the areas that we just highlighted. And using my Real Techniques um, powder brush, I'm going in and setting all those areas. Now to set the rest of the face, I'm using the Inglot Freedom System Press Powder in number 14 and I'm using the same Real Techniques brush that we just used before. Now it's time to contour. I'm using the Sleek Duo Contour Kit in number 3. I'm chiseling out my cheekbones, the um, sides of my forehead, my, underneath my chin and, my, and the sides of my nose because, you know, you do want your nose to always look slimmer. Anyway, my choice anyway. Um, and I'm using a dense Morphe brush. It's like a dome type. It's a G1 if anyone wants to know um, in the Morphe range. It is the best in their gunmetal range. Anyway, in my perspective. Um, and I'm just applying that to all those areas to help me get the contour look that I'm after. One thing you've got to remember with contouring, well, one of the things I like to remember with contouring is you want to blend because without blending, you're going to look chalky and muddy and no one wants to see that. Um, I like to, as soon as I blend, I just keep on blending just to make sure that everything's as seamless but yet giving me definition to my face. Just to make sure that everything doesn't look so powdery, I'm going in with the MAC Fix Plus Spray, just did rock. Now going back in with the HD Banana Shade from Inglot, I'm just going right underneath my, where I chiseled out my cheekbones and applying it so it can make it pop and give it some more dimension. Now going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in Blonde, I'm applying that with small strokes from a angled um, eyebrow brush and it is from Inglot, I'll list it down below because I'm just not too sure at the moment. Of the number on the brush but anyway um, now you want to do lightly feathered strokes so it gives your eyebrows that natural look without having those block eyebrows um, I do find it very complimentary and natural um, and I get a lot of compliments when I do my eyebrows in that way Now starting on my lower lash line, I'm applying all the colours that I used above, so the matte orange, the matte brown and the copper. I'm just applying that to complete the look and to give my lower lash line a bit of depth. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in black and it is the bomb. If you wanna have a natural looking, falsy type of look, I highly recommend using it. To give my cheeks some sun-kissed look, I'm going in with the Inglot Freedom System blush in number 30, and I'm just applying that to the border of my cheeks, or the start of my cheeks, and bringing it back ways towards my ear. And I don't like to smile because when I do smile, it's just like smack bang, right in your face. So what I like to do is just halfly smile, just to see exactly where the sun would actually hit and just give it that sun kiss flow. Now it's time for falsies and oh, these are so pretty. Um, they are the beauty case. I'm not too sure on what number they are. So again, I'll list it down below, but I'm just using my duo black um, glue and I've just waited until the glue was tacky and now I've applied on my lashes. I do like going in with my tweezers as well as my fingers to help me apply yeah, them on. Yeah, everyone's seeing shine bright like a diamond when you're applying your highlighter. I'm going in with the Becca Champagne Pop um, by Jaclyn Hill and I'm just applying that to the tips of my cheekbones and I'm using a fan brush because I love using 
my fan brushes when applying my highlighter I can get right into the crevice of my um, brow bone as well and just shine bright like a diamond because you know who doesn't like to shine bright now to get some colour on my lips I started off with Kimchi Doll by Gerard Cosmetics but I found that kind of washed my lips out so I wanted to deepen the colour so I applied right on top of it I'm pretty sure it's called Dragonfly again by Gerard Cosmetics but I'll list the correct name down below if I'm incorrect and I just love the way my lips actually turned out And there you go guys, this is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you'd like to see next. And uh, do me a huge favor, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.